Today, LeBron and MJ will be starting from the lowest overall to see who can become the GOAT first. In order to achieve GOAT status, you must hit 99 overall and win six championships as the best player on your team. There's two ways LeBron and MJ will have the chance to become better as the years go on. The first way is playing a 1v1 to three points. The second way is to put them both in clutch situations to see who pulls out the win. And to do that, we're going back to the 2K11 situations mode. I'm going to spin this wheel different clutch time situations and whatever it lands on is the one they're going to be a part of. Whoever pulls out the win in either the 1v1 or the situation will spin from the good wheel. This wheel has a 60% chance of a good upgrade, a 10% chance of a great upgrade, and a 30% chance of a mid upgrade. If you lose the 1v1 or the situation, you'll be spinning from the bad wheel. You get a 60% chance of a mid upgrade, a 30% chance of a good upgrade, but a 10% chance of a downgrade. Whichever player hits 99 overall first would have the opportunity to spin from the team wheel. This wheel gives you an 80% chance of good team upgrades and a 20% chance of great team upgrades. Once both players hit 99 overall, the wheels won't be used anymore. And it's straight simulation until one of them wins six championships or they both retire. Subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to a million subs by tomorrow. Let's go. LeBron's going to get the ball first for the first situation. It's going to go ahead and be down three, 25 seconds left. LeBron LeBron with the ball here in the pa oh why would what what the hell in the 2011 pass was that first free throw for mj and he's oh he smoked it so lebron is not done yet he made the second well here we go lebron with the ball here gonna pull the contested three misses it rebound bowls and that should do it which means mj's getting the first spin of the goo wheel it's gonna go ahead and be max physicals that's a great upgrade and jordan's already up to a 51 overall now see if lebron can get something good on the bad wheel it's gonna go ahead and be plus 10 to all finishing that's okay yeah that didn't do too much for him he's still at a 40 overall. It was a mid-upgrade. MJ definitely got off to a good start, though. Let's see what happens. Kobe got himself an MVP. The Bulls are solid and the Cavs are pretty bad. Don't expect LeBron or MJ to play an NBA minute until around year six. And the Wolves win the championship. Kevin Garnett getting a finals MVP. MJ's out to a 54 overall. Don't mind the minus 13. And LeBron's up to a 44. Again, don't mind the minus 39. Well, here's our first 1v1. LeBron doesn't have any abilities or really good attributes, but he is bigger and stronger than, well, not really because Jordan Allen now has 99 strength. So I guess not, but LeBron's going back up with it and he gets it to go. Come on. MJ use that speed and excel to your advantage man get down there and make something happen oh, that was a nice move we got ourselves a game now LeBron blowing by MJ smokes a lamp but gets it back up to go MJ working on the post here with a post hook yeah you don't have that rating yet buddy but okay use that 99 speed to get around LeBron MJ trying to drop okay like bro are y'all oh thank you for not coming down with it just put it right back up with the tip in this was a pretty painful basketball game to sit through well here's another good wheel spin for MJ is gonna go ahead and get plus one to all finishing badges and if if you don't know, that is a good upgrade. So every single badge here is going up a tier. And that leaves MJ as a 55 overall. Let's see if LeBron can get lucky here. He's going to go ahead and get... Oh, that's a good upgrade. Plus 20 to all shooting. That put him up to a 50 overall. He is not out of it yet. MJ's moving up in the reserve rotation. LeBron's still the worst player on his team. Let's see what happens. Kobe going back to back. And the Bulls are staying relevant while the Cavs, well, they're not doing so good. Don't know why I keep showing you the screen like something's going to change. But yeah, they're not playing any minutes. And the Spurs win the championship. Tim Duncan getting a ring. MJ's now up to a 58 overall. And LeBron up to a 53 he's right there now we're gonna have mj get the ball this time it's gonna go ahead and be down one 15 seconds left if you didn't notice in the last one i took scotty pippen and weighed off the teams just so lebron and mj get the ball more but here we go 11 seconds left harper giving it to kukoc kukoc gonna pull the midi oh and he gets it to go with seven seconds left mj didn't even touch the ball lebron with the ball here four seconds left gonna do a spin jumper gets it to go with two seconds left bulls call timeout LeBron needs that good upgrade so badly. What are they going to do here? You got to inbound the ball to give it to Harper. Got to launch a half-court shot. Almost made it, and Miami's going to walk away with the win. So LeBron's getting himself a good upgrade on the goodwill we have. Plus, oh, that's a mid-upgrade, bro. That's so unlucky. Just going to equip the first five badges that I see here. And LeBron's still at a 53. That was very unlucky. But let's see what Jordan gets on the bad wheel. It's going to go ahead and be plus five finishing badge points. Okay, well, that's a mid-upgrade. Just going to do the first five that I see here again. And that put MJ up to a 59 overall. Let's see if the Cavs become relevant. T-Mac with a casual 36, 6, and 6. And look at the Cavs being better than the Bulls this year. So LeBron didn't get any minutes. But 59 overall MJ is getting 25 minutes a game. He's starting for the... They don't have a better shooting guard on the team than 59 Michael Jordan. And the Raptors won the championship. Look at MJ up to a 62 overall. And LeBron's only down 5 out of 57. Well, here we go. Our second 1v1 of the video. MJ trying to drive here. Body and LeBron. And gets the layup to go.
Okay, that's a good steal by MJ. MJ driving right to the basket, lays it up and in. This might be a blowout. MJ driving. Oh, nice defense, LeBron. That was a painful game to watch LeBron. 0 for 4. If MJ gets something good here, this could get ugly. He's going to get plus 20 to all his defense. That put MJ up to a 66 overall. And now LeBron doesn't need a miracle, but he definitely needs something good. Plus 1 to all defensive badges. Okay, he got a good upgrade. Hopefully, after doing this, it puts him close to a 60 overall. Okay, well, he didn't go up anything. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, MJ's not getting minutes for the Bulls now because I guess they got a competent shooting guard to play. And LeBron's still trying to make his way out the reserves. t Max going crazy. The Cavs and Bulls both stink. And LeBron still has yet to play a single minute in the NBA. MJ's really starting to build up that GOAT legacy. And the Spurs won the championship in seven. MJ's almost at a 70 overall. And LeBron got a little behind from last year. But he's still somewhat there. All right, well, now LeBron's getting the ball. Let's see what he has to do. It's going to be a tie game with 40 seconds left. Mike Miller with the ball. You're going to give it to LeBron. LeBron working on MJ spinning with the hook. Gets it to go. Heat take a two-point lead. How will the Bulls respond? here gonna give it to mj here on the left wing jordan pulls it back shot missed it rebound chalmers and gets fouled the bulls are gonna need a prayer here mj gonna pull the contested three knocks it down one point game and now lebron james is going to the line first one up and it's in second one to make it a three point game and he's got it mj trying to go to work here driving to the basket and throws it down with eight seconds left looking to inbound the ball here oh no no the bulls steal it four seconds left kukos with the ball spinning gives it to oh my god jordan Deep three! Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was going to go in. What a game we just had right there. Let's see what good upgrade LeBron potentially gets. Plus, oh, my God. He got a mid one. He only went up one overall. Maybe LeBron gets lucky and MJ gets a downgrade here. Oh, my God. He actually got one minus five overall. So, MJ is going from a 68 all the way down to a 63 overall. LeBron didn't get a good upgrade, but that was really good for him. Only Kobe and T-Mac have won MVPs. Look at the Cavs at a three seed. Where are the Bulls at? They're the 13th seed. MJ didn't play a single minute. I'm assuming LeBron. LeBron also didn't as well. Yeah, there you go. And the Magic win the championship. T-Mac getting a ring. LeBron's made his way up to a 65 overall. And MJ's at a 66. This one's close. Well, this should be pretty even, even though MJ has pretty high physical attributes. MJ getting contact. That was a nice layup. Can LeBron respond to that? That was a nice layup too. MJ driving on LeBron here. Floats it up in it. What the heck? I don't know how he made that, but okay. LeBron going up with it and gets it to go. We got a tie game. Jordan making a move here. Hop step going up. Man, that was too easy. It's crazy. MJ would be like a 73 overall if not for that down game, but he's going to get plus 20 to all of his physicals. It put him at a 67. All LeBron has to do is not get something terrible here. He's going to get plus 10 to all defensive attributes. That's fine. And LeBron's now tied with MJ as a 67 overall. And I guess the Cavs don't have a competent small forward, so LeBron's going to start. And the Bulls don't have a competent shooting guard, so MJ's going to start. They're both going to start as 60 overall. T-Mac gets another one. I like how they're both starting for their teams, and both of them are the worst teams in the league. But MJ put up a solid 10-3-3, and, and LeBron put, what did LeBron put up? 8-3-2. And the Magic get another championship. Team Max just stacking up the legacy here. LeBron's officially hit 70 overall. And so is MJ, but LeBron's a 71. He got ahead of him. Well, now MJ's going to be getting the ball here. Let's see what he has to do. Down 335 seconds left. Let's see what MJ and the Bulls can do here. Okay, they're double teaming Kukoc. MJ gets the ball here in the post. Fade away for... What the hell was that shot? That looked like that one picture of Kobe shoot over like four guys. And LeBron makes the first free throw. Second one to make it a five-point game. This one's pretty much out of reach. MJ pulling a deep three. Okay, yeah, that's not going in. And LeBron's getting himself a good wheel spin. What do we got now? Plus one to all shooting badges. So all these are going up a tier. And it made him a 72 overall. Now let's see what MJ is going to get. Hopefully not another downgrade. Oh my God, what is that? One lowest rating boost to not... Oh, that's actually actually good. I read that wrong. And after looking through, his lowest rating is a standing duck at a 27. So that's going all the way up to a 99. And no surprise there, he didn't move at all. But he's still getting the start for the Bulls. And LeBron's still starting for the Cavs. Someone else going to win MVP. The Cavs are in the playoffs. That's nice, but the Bulls are just terrible. Terrible. LeBron putting up nine points a game and MJ putting up 14.7 points per game. He's playing way better than LeBron. And we're not going to watch this playoff series. It just doesn't matter for LeBron's case. To become the GOAT, you got to win six championships as the best player on your team. And he is nowhere near that. But somehow still starting. That's great for him. I accidentally skipped over player progression, but MJ's a 73. And LeBron's up to a 75. Well, let's see who comes out of this 1v1. Jordan going right. Okay, that was quick. LeBron making a move to the basket here. That was a nice little hook. We have yet to see a jump shot go down or I guess any defense played by LeBron this game. But yeah, we haven't seen a dunk or 
for, you know, a jump shot, anything exciting in these 1v1, just a layup compilation. It's fun. MJ driving in a basket here. What a pro move by him, shielding him off, using the rim as a whatever, you know the term, whatever he wants. So let's see what MJ is going to get for himself. It's going to go ahead and be plus 20 to all finishing. That's very good for the 1v1. And now MJ's up to a 76. So let's see if LeBron can keep up with MJ here. He's going to go ahead and get plus five playmaking badge points. That's mid. LeBron doesn't have any playmaking badges, so I'm just going to give him the first five right here. And that didn't move LeBron at all. So MJ's now up one overall on LeBron. Let's see how this year goes. When I said someone else than T-Mac, I didn't mean Kobe. And this might be the first time they both made the playoffs unless I missed the year. LeBron putting up 13 a game and MJ's putting up 17 a game on pretty good efficiency as well, 52%. They both lost in the first round anyway. The Magic win the championship. T-Mac just, you know, becoming the greatest player of all time. MJ's approaching 80 overall and LeBron's right there with him. They're both tied. Well, now it's LeBron's turn to get the ball in a clutch moment. It's going to be down to 20 seconds left. Eight seconds left. Chalmers is just dribbling at the top of the key. They're going to run a play. Maybe, oh, there's a pin down for LeBron. LeBron wide open from mid-range. Makes it. We got a tie game with two seconds. MJ with the ball here. Contested three. Air balls it. We're going to overtime. We now have our first sudden death of the video. First to score wins. Ron Harper with the ball. Oh, where's LeBron going? Kukoc open from three. Misses it. Rebound Miller. You got to find a way to get the ball to your best player. LeBron on a pin down. Going to try to drive here. Fade away. Mitty. Got it. And LeBron wins the game. LeBron's been great in those 2K11 situation games. What do we got here? Plus one to all playmaking. That's nice. And that wasn't enough to put him at an 80 overall. Let's see what MJ is going to get here. It's going to go ahead. Oh my. Oh my God. No, that is nasty. That is actually nasty. MJ at this point could be a 90 overall, but now he's down to a 74. He's still starting for the Bulls though. And LeBron's getting a solid 20. 20 minutes a game. All right, bro, we get it. We got the Cavs in the playoffs, but the Bulls just missed it. LeBron having his best year so far, leading the team in scoring. And MJ still play better than him, but he's, you know, he's down to a 75. And the Magic win the championship, bro. This man, like, we, like, why are we even wasting our time? How is LeBron or MJ going to become the GOAT over T-Mac right now? LeBron trying to drive. There's no, wow. If not for just two horrible wheel spins, MJ could easily be a 91, 92 overall right now. MJ trying to, yeah, that's an awful shot, but he might get his own rebound. He does, puts it back up, standing duck. He's got that up to a 99. Well, I guess not 99 anymore because he just lost five overall. Never mind. MJ driving here. Got the lay and he got it to go. Okay, good win by MJ. He needs something big here. Pauls is going to go ahead and get plus five playmaking badge points. That's so mid. This man has like no playmaking badges. Wow. And that didn't do anything. So all LeBron's got to do is not land on a downgrade here and he should be okay. Plus 10 all playmaking. That's fine. And that put him up to an 84 overall as the second best player on his team. LeBron's almost qualified for his championships to actually count if he wins any as the best player, of course. And MJ's still way behind in that category. All right, I got to see how many you won. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was more. The Cavs are in the playoffs while the Bulls are poverty. MJ leading his team in scoring with 18 points a game. And LeBron's second in scoring with 17, 6, and 5. But again, he's still not the best player, so we don't care about the playoffs. This man, T-Mask, got like, what, six rings and six MVPs? Well, now LeBron's the best player as an 88 overall. And MJ's up to an 81. This man can so easily be like a 95 right now. Well, now it's MJ's turn to get the ball here. What do we got? Down to 20 seconds left. Same situation. Harper just wasting the clock right now. I'm assuming they're going to run a down screen for MJ. MJ coming around here. MJ gonna be wide open from three. Oh, he smoked it. Re oh, the Heat have the ball, not rebound. Oh, they got a foul twice. Well, the game's over. LeBron's won almost all those situation games, or maybe he's won all of them. I'm not too sure, but plus 20 in all defensive attributes. That's good. Those plus 20s was able to completely max him out in the defensive category. But let's see what MJ's got for himself. It's going to go ahead and be plus five defensive badge points. Well, put him up in overall. He's an 82 now. But now, since LeBron's the best player on his team, he's officially qualified to win a championship. So any rings that he get will count. As for MJ, he's not too far now, but he's going to need another year or two. It's very impressive that two people have won the MVP for the last decade. And he's got the Cavs in the plus as a three seed. The Bulls, they are not in the playoffs. LeBron had a good year dropping 18, 7, and 5. MJ had a great year too. He's just not the best player on his team yet. So we're going to see this first round matchup between the Cavs and the Nets. And that's going to go ahead and be a sweep in the first round. Now they got to play the Wizards with Kawhi and Westbrook and Anthony Davis. And they're going to blow him out here in game seven. But the Mavs win the championship. Tim Duncan just doing side quests. LeBron's now up to a 92 overall. Clearly the best player. And it would potentially only take one good up great for MJ to be the best player this year. LeBron should dominate this considering he's a 92 overall now. It's crazy how much the overalls have shifted in the past five years. But now he's got to respond here and make something happen and gets the layup to go. MJ driving to the basket here, throws it down. Where is that 99 defense from LeBron?
Oh my god, what a spin move by LeBron. Oh, he smoked the layup, though. Put it back up and in. MJ driving in a basket here. Ooh, that was nasty. And that was a painful game to sit through. Three for nine and two for 12. But Jordan got the win. Let's hope he can get himself back into this with this spin. It's going to be one lowest rating boost of 99. That's not bad. His lowest rating is his free throw, so that's going all the way up to a 99. And that put him at an 87 overall, making him the best player on his team. Let's see what LeBron spins going to go ahead and be. Nothing crazy bad. Play oh my god, he almost got minus one to all play or all badges right there. And that didn't do anything for LeBron, keeping him as a 92. Tim Duncan with another side quest. And LeBron winning Defensive Player of the Year, as he should. He literally is 99 in every stat there. And the Cavs didn't make the playoffs, but the Bulls did as the three seed. Oh my god, he put up 31, 7, and 5? They might actually have a shot to win at all if MJ keeps playing like this. And they're just barely gonna lose here in Game 7. That's tough. And the Wizards win the championship. Westbrook, okay. Alright, MJ, you're almost at a 90. And you're not too far from LeBron. He only went up two overalls. And now we got LeBron getting the ball this time. What's he gotta do? Dude, down three, 25 seconds. That's tough. LeBron with the ball here. Wide open from three. Knocks it down. We got a tie game. How will the Bulls respond here? MJ with the ball on the left wing. Pulls up the mid. He misses it. Rebound. Kukoc puts it back up and in with 1.4 left. Who's going to take the shot here? How okay, that's just not the pass you want to be making. That doesn't make any sense. But a win's a win. And MJ's got his good wheel spin. So it's going to be plus. Man, that's ass. That didn't move him at all. But maybe LeBron gets a downgrade here. He's going to go ahead and get plus one. The all playmaking. How did he get a good one and MJ got a mid one. That didn't move him either, but he got more badges. LeBron's big problem is he doesn't have enough stamina. That's what's killing him right now. If he had stamina, he'd be playing like 35, 36 minutes a game. He just doesn't have it. And Michael Jordan got himself an MVP. That might be good for a tiebreaker. Meanwhile, LeBron's winning Defensive Player of the Year. But LeBron didn't make the playoffs and MJ did, so he might be able to steal a championship here. And they got to play the Knicks in the first round with Paul George and Iggy. And they're moving on to the second round in six games. MJ with 49, 10, and 4. All right, this might be the most stacked team of all time. And you got to give MJ MJ credit for taking it to seven games, but they lost. That team was just way too stacked. The Grizzlies winning the championship. Dwayne Wade finals MVP. And it looks like MJ and LeBron both left their respected team. LeBron went and joined the Lakers with T-Mac. And Jordan went to play for the Sixers. All right, well, let's see how this 1v1 goes. We have yet to see someone make a jump shot, but I guess they'll just take more layups and one. LeBron half spinning, going up with the lay, missing, gets his own rebound, though. Gonna put it back up and in. And LeBron just end this? Dude, this is nasty. Okay, there you go. Got your own rebound, put it back up and in. MJ shot one one for 11 and LeBron shot three for 11. Like that was such a nasty game. Well, let's go ahead and see what LeBron's good attributes potentially going to be plus one to all defensive badges. I'm surprised he doesn't have more of these on Hall of Fame because all of his defense is already up to like a 99, but that was enough to get him to a 95. And as for MJ's upgrade or downgrade, that's going to be three lowest ratings boost to 99. That's really good. So his lowest ratings hands, that's going to 99. His second lowest is block, that's going to 99. And his third lowest is driving dunk, so that's going all the way up to 99. And that puts him as a 93 overall. And right on time in 2017, Westbrook winning MVP. LeBron get another DPOY. We got LA as the sixth seed and Philly as the third seed. MJ had a great year too, putting up 28, 8, and 6. They got a first round matchup versus the Bucks, and LeBron's got a first round matchup versus Durant. Well, LeBron's gonna get gentlemen swept, and MJ's getting by the Bucks here in six games. Now they gotta play a tough Pistons team with John Wall and Klay Thompson. We got a close one here, but they're in trouble. Oh my god, MJ with the ball gonna pull them. Okay, that is not going in. That's a terrible shot from MJ. Damn, MJ, you kind of choked in this game. 8 for 22. And the Heat win the championship. Westbrook MVP and finals MVP. MJ's now a 96 overall. And LeBron's a 95, so MJ surpassed him. But remember, it's a race to be in the GOAT. Not to 99 overall, but we're gonna get down or down 5 one minute left. MJ with the ball here, gonna pull the 3 ball. Oh, he smoked it! Rebound Robin gonna give it to Longley, and he's gonna okay, that's a bad shot. LeBron's gonna get the ball here, gonna pull the 3 ball. Oh, and that's the dagger. Well, MJ definitely got the hardest situation challenge, but what are you gonna do? Plus 20 to all playmaking. He's maxed out on all playmaking, except for speed with ball, making him a 96 overall. Let's see what MJ gets. Hopefully not a downgrade. He's going to go in and get three lowest ratings. He got that again? His lowest rating is steal out of 69. His second lowest is ball handle out of 70. And his next lowest is pass accuracy out of 73. And that made him a 97 overall. Let's see what LeBron and MJ do this year. Westbrook going back to back. And the Lakers grab the 50 while the Sixers are the third seed. Philly's got the Bucks in the first round. And the Lakers got Mike Conley in the Thunder. MJ's going to get a gentleman sweep here on the Bucks. And LeBron's going to get gentleman swept again in the playoffs. This man, Mike Conley, had a master class. This stack Wizards team is still together, and they're still kicking our ass. Yeah, we're out of here in five. There's just been too many super teams to come together, man. LeBron didn't move. He's still a 96, and MJ's so close to that 99 club. This is a big game for MJ. If he wins this one, he's got the... Oh my god, what a block by LeBron. What the hell was that? He got his own rebound and threw it down. MJ go... Oh, that was a pro move. Let's see what LeBron can do here. Posting up on MJ, getting position. That was beautiful. MJ looking for a lane here. Oh my... Oh my god. MJ trying to drive here. Oh, why did 
did you do all that nut shit? You could have just went up with it. This game was also a hard watch. Three for nine and two for nine. Well, LeBron, you need something good here to catch up with MJ here. Plus one to all shooting badges. That's nice. And that was enough to get him to a 97. And as for MJ, just nothing bad here. What do we got? Plus five finishing badges. That's fine. And those five finishing badges was enough to get him to a 99. So now every time he wins a 1v1 or a situation, he's going to spin from the team wheel. And all the wheels will disappear once LeBron hits 99 overall. Oh, we're in trouble. And for the first time, MJ and LeBron both making first team. And they're both in the playoffs. Lakers 6 seed, Philly 3rd seed. Let's see how MJ does in the first round versus Blake Griffin. And we'll see how LeBron does versus Joe Keem Noah. This game was kind of close, but they got it done. We got a close one here in game seven. They're going to put LeBron in the post here. Driving right by. What kind of defense was that? Levine going to use the screen here. Going to drive to the basket. Oh, wow. I'm surprised no foul call there, but they got the lead. Five seconds left. LeBron just sitting in the corner. They're going to go to Ilya Silva in the clutch of the game seven. LeBron contested three. Like, what are we doing? I don't even know who to blame there. Like, was LeBron just tired? Are we just bored? I'm not trying to sound like I'm rooting for LeBron, but I just wanted to see a better shot than that. Oh my God, this team is Boogie Davis and Kawhi. And MJ gave a great effort, but they're going down in seven. And the Heat win the championship. Westbrook getting another ring. While LeBron left the Lakers and MJ still there for one more year. And LeBron took his talents to the Wizards to play with Boogie. It's now LeBron's turn to be clutch here. What do we got? Tie game one minute left. LeBron trying to drive around. Cool coaching. What the hell was that layup attempt? Harper diamond it to Jordan. Jordan going up gets fouled. Okay. Chalmers going to work here. Dives into LeBron. LeBron with the wide open mid. He smokes it. LeBron with the ball here getting double team. Okay, never mind. Now LeBron's going to drive it. Pull up the contested midi and smokes it. Man, LeBron choked this game. Has him. Kicks it out to Chalmers. Chalmers to Mike Miller. Mike Miller from three. Oh, he missed it. Which means that MJ's getting a spin from the team, which improves him and everyone else. Plus 10 playmaking attributes to everybody. That didn't do too much for the team, but I mean, they're still good. And here's LeBron's spin on the bat. Will is going to go ahead and get... Wow, he actually got a good one. And that was not enough to make him a 99. And since LeBron's still a 98, the wheels stay alive for another year. MJ getting his second MVP. Well, MJ's going to get the gentleman sweep here. And LeBron's going to win in six. So we're getting our first simulation LeBron versus MJ matchup. Looks like MJ's in some trouble here. Al going in the work in the post. Goes up and he misses the lap. Why would you not go to your best player? A big mental mistake by the Sixers. No, okay, well, he missed the first free throw. So they're not out of it yet. And he missed the second. MJ with the ball here. Trying to dance on Tim Hardaway. Driving to the basket. Kicks out the Ingram. Ingram from three. Oh, he missed it. Well, MJ, you gave me your best shot, but at least it was a competitive series. And LeBron's got to play the Heat in the conference finals with Jokic and Avery Bradley. And MJ's thanking God that Jokic exists because they somehow just lost. And the Heat go on to win it all with Jokic winning finals MVP. We're in player progression. LeBron's not in a 99. Well, this could be the last 1v1 of the whole video. MJ throwing it down. LeBron going up with the layup. A little touch shot. Got it. LeBron looking to close this one out. I don't really got anywhere to go. Oh, he got the angle on MJ. Got him in the... Oh, like, he didn't really get him in the air. He just got him out of bounds. LeBron could really use some physicals here. He's going to go ahead and get one lowest rate. Oh, that helps out a lot. His lowest ratings definitely excel, so that's going to 99. And that was more than enough to get him to 99, which means all the wheels are done being used in a straight simulation from here to see how many rings each one of them can win. LeBron getting an MVP. He may need these if neither one of them win a championship. And LeBron's the first seed, but the Sixers didn't make the playoffs or at least the play-in. So now let's see if LeBron can make a title run. Well, I don't know why he went seven games with Orlando, but okay. Now they got to play Boston with Zion, Kevin Love, Lonzo, and Trey Young. Oh, but we just gentlemen sweep that team. Okay. And now LeBron has a chance to make the finals. This is the go to the finals. LeBron gonna use the screen here. Gonna try to drive to the basket. Maybe should have dimed that up, but gives it the Pat Bev from three. Oh my god! Look at Boogie, man. 35 and 9. Now LeBron's in the finals versus Paul George. That's that's their best player. We got a tie game up 3-2. Six seconds left here. LeBron's just sitting in the corner. Cage pull up mid. He got it. What a shot. Paul George trying to drive on LeBron here. No one to really go. Oh, we got him in the air. They missed the lamp. LeBron with the rebound. Please run. The two clutches free throws of your entire career. Made the first. I think his free throw is a 99. I'm pretty sure it is. So he shouldn't miss any of these. Paul George got to go quick here. He dives into Jamison. Jamison to Paul George. Paul George got to chuck a contested three. And he misses it. Rebound by Jamison. Jamison out to Sexton. Sexton with a three. Gets blocked by Beverly. Beverly with the rebound. And the Wizards are your NBA champions. No way Boogie won finals MVP. That's kind of nasty. We're obviously going to count the championship because LeBron is the highest overall player. But still, that's kind of... Eh. That's kind of rough. And now we're just on to the next season. No will spins, no challenges or anything. LeBron tied up the MVP, so even if MJ gets the championship, we'll have to go to further evaluation. Oh, wait, they play each other in the first round. That's crazy. And well, that wasn't very entertaining. That's going to be a gentleman sweep on MJ. And now we have a matchup with the devil. I hope you understand why I call him the devil now. And they went on to win the championship. Of course they did. Got to at least win one championship to make this a competition. Look at MJ getting an MVP. That'll break the tiebreaker if he gets a ring. MJ's got the Raptors, and LeBron's got to play his number one fan. Well, MJ got the sweep, and LeBron won in six games. So now we have our third matchup between LeBron and Jordan. And this time it's going to be MJ dominating 
in a gentleman's sweep. And now he's got to face Jabari Parker and Kemba Walker in the conference finals. And MJ just booked his ticket to the finals. Oh yeah, just dropping 56, 10, and 5. That's nothing. This team has Harden and Giannis. That's going to be tough. They're going to post up Giannis here on Bertans. That's a mismatch. Why is nobody helping him? Giannis is just going to eat. Harden guarding MJ here. That's got to be a mismatch. MJ diamond it to Tristan Thompson. Nobody's helping on Bertans. Can someone help this man? Oh my God, great defense. Clarkson using the screen here. Probably going to go to the post and Giannis. That's a smart thing to do. Giannis with a dime to freedom. Billy has no timeout. Six seconds left. Jordan with four seconds. Three seconds. This is to win the championship. One second. What the hell kind of shot is that? <laughs> No, 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 no. Like he just casually made a 40 footer. Just like, yeah, let me just take this for the win. Yeah, why not? And he dropped 44, 9, and 10 in game seven of the finals. LeBron and MJ both have one year deals on their contract. Let's see what happens this year. MJ keeps stacking up these MVPs, and they're both playing each other again in the first round as the two and seven seed. But LeBron's actually gonna win this in seven. Now they got the Bucks in the second round versus Jay. Jalen Brown. And that's going to go ahead and be a gentleman sweep. And now we have the dynamic duo of Jabari Parker and Kemba. Yeah, I thought they were too good. That makes sense. Yeah, they should beat us. And the Wolves win the championship. Marvin Bagley finals MVP. And LeBron and MJ retired at the same time. How cute is that? We'll look over LeBron's stats. Here's all of his years if you want to see them. Also, his career averages of 19, 9, and 6. He was a two-time MVP, one-time champion, a 10-time defensive player of the year, and 11-time All-Star. And as for MJ's numbers, yeah, they were uh, probably a little better than LeBron's there. He averaged 25 for his career. And he was a four-time MVP, a one-time champion, and seven times first team all defense first team all nba eight times and since they both tied the championships i'm gonna leave it up to you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video goodbye